They gonna love me for my ambition. My issue with the apologies here, for those who don't understand, right? Just to give give the perspective. This is why J. Cole should never apologize live to Kendrick Lamar. First of all, you're doing it in public, which is red flag number one. This is going to live online forever. Second of all, you are in rap. You're the number one rapper, in my opinion, right now, the best rapper in the world. Before the speech was J. Cole. You're rapping on the entire album about competition and people literally being pussies to the point that you compare them to being trans. <laughs> like, you went there, you said, hey, I might get canceled for this, but I'm just going to make a bar to prove my point. Then you ultimately become the pussy, by your definition, because you're backing down, you are not wanting to compete with this man, and you have been rapping your ass off. No one wants... Kendrick to punch J. Cole. No one wants his family's house to be on fire. This is not Snowfall. This is not, you know, Compton Street Beef, uh, North Carolina Street Beef. This is not that. This is rap competition. He knows what it is. That's why he said it. Before he even said his, the, the moment of the speech, what did he say? I know a lot of people are not going to like this right now. Right? Not a lot of people are going to like this right now. Now, what I do commend is the honesty. For him to do this takes a lot of balls because he's going against the world, right? And he's staying true to what he believes is himself. He said he lost sleep. <laughs> he said he couldn't sleep for two nights. He was struggling to sleep for the past two nights. Specifically after dropping the song. Why are you losing sleep? Like, the battle has barely started. You lost sleep. And he literally said in the speech, I've never been battle tested like this. Which is like, technically, yeah. Because I guess he doesn't want to consider the no-name gypsy situation a battle. But on wax, no one's really like called out J. Cole. Why? He's so good. He's so nice. There's really no reason to call him out. Because he's a great guy. A great guy. A great guy. Want to hang out? I want to hang out with him. He just wants to be your friend. Who has called him out? Little Pump, maybe, right? But that's not real. He talked to him like a dad. Who else from those rappers? Smoke Perp. Talk to him like a dad. Russ. Talk to him like a dad. You know what I'm saying? Fuck J. Cole, the whole trend. But it was never really on wax. Never on wax. If Russ would have dropped a track during that time, dissing him, I'm pretty sure J. Cole would have responded because Russ is actually a really great rapper. Um, but fast forwarding, the hypocrisy continues. Hypocrisy, hypocrisy. All weekend, during after my reaction, the comments, you're such a Kendrick Lamar dick rider. <laughs> oh, my God, get off of Kendrick's dick. <laughs> it's just a warning shot, guys. It's just a warning shot. Where's the Dreamville co-world fans in the, right now? Oh, my God, it's just a warning shot. What are you talking about? He's going to come back hard. It's just a warning shot. He's taking it easy. He really likes him. It's Kendrick. <laughs> He's got to be strategic. Then, shout out to my boy Jordan Rose at Complex Networks. He was at Dreamville Fest. My boy Jordan. He interviewed T-Minus. T-Minus is the producer behind this song. T-Minus revealed. Cole, a couple days ago, just came up to him in the studio. He was like, T-Minus, make a beat real quick. Make a seven-minute beat. T-Minus made the beat in seven minutes. Then, Cole was like, give me seven minutes. I'm going to make a verse. He came back. Cole was like, I'm not done. Give me another seven minutes. He came back. Cole was like, I I'm almost done. So he basically made the verse in less than 20 minutes. A couple days tell. ago. We could tell. We could tell. Another mistake. Another red flag. You don't do that when you're battling the killer. King Kunta. This is Kendrick Lamar. Yes, I've been calling him out for years. Where are you? Why are you hiding? I've been saying it. Yes. Doesn't negate the fact that he is that guy. By me saying, where are you at? Where are you hiding? I'm not downplaying his career or his legacy or his I'm saying you can't be saying you're smoking on top fives when you ain't smoking on nothing you're hiding after you're smoking on the top five you're hiding then we get to like that verse ah oh. that's what I wanted oh my god I've been hungry for this I'm ah oh. let's go right and then 
Drake taking his time with the freaking at IG captions. If I see another IG caption between today and Friday, I swear to God, bro. Yo, I'm glad that you feel that way. I swear to God, bro. I'm glad you feel that way. With the IG captions, right? Chubbs basically threatening, allegedly. Baca threatening. At least Metro. Pick a side. What are you guys talking about? We slide on our lives. All this talk. Yo. I'm like, hold up, hold up. Where's the raps? You're on tour? The tour ended. The tour ended. Nah, I'm just talking some bullshit. The tour ended. And then who throws the first... The first punch. If that candle had fell, I would have smacked this nigga, bro. Yeah. <laughs> the nigga's crazy, bro. He's gonna set us on fire. J. Cole. I don't know where. <laughs> 7 a.m. drill. 7 a.m. 7 minute drill. So, you know that Drake hasn't said nothing. You choose to respond, and you choose to rush it. You got a project, right? I'll tell him, think about it, guys, though. He's dropping his project. We've been talking about it in here, the vlogs. We knew the project was going to drop. Because the verses were so good, he can't scrap these. And he can't put them on the fall-off because he's talking about the fall-off. You can't talk about the fall-off coming on the fall-off. Okay, so might delete later. Oh, it's probably going to be a project. We knew this was probably going to drop, right? We knew. We had a feeling. So he probably was like, if I drop it without responding, people are going to come at me. And guess what? He's right. People would have flamed them up. They probably would have been like, oh, maybe the pie verse, maybe this verse. Oh, 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 there's no direct response. Is there no response? What's going on here? No response. And then we go, seven minute drill, response. A whole record dedicated to the guy. A whole record. Never mentioned Drake. He never even alluded to the big three or the other third one. He was like directly at uh, Kendrick. And then you hear it. It sounds like Rush. This sounds like you don't want to do this. And then everyone's calling me out. I'm a dick rider. You're crazy. Worst reaction I've ever seen in my life. You're not letting the song play. Oh my God, you're talking more than him. <laughs> I'm unsubscribing. Where's YI? <laughs> Yo, know, every time. Where's YI? And he told, he basically told, for those who do want YI's reaction, he basically told um, Edwin the same thing. He's like, oh, it's not real. Like he did. The hunger wasn't there in the seven minute drill. He felt, of course he's gonna feel the same way. Anyone with ears and actually rap ears understands that that shit was not to the level of a like that. Already scoreboard, Kendrick won, J. Cole zero, Drake zero. Now this speech, scoreboard's gotta be written again. J. Cole, negative one, bro. Negative, negative one. one is crazy. Negative one. Negative one the is crazy. The scoreboard's negative one now. Negative one. It's negative one. And it sucks because him doing this, to me, I'd rather him be quiet, not talk about it at the festival, not address the fact that there's no diss song, not drop the diss song, because the project is amazing. I think it's rap album of the year. I love the project. The freaking Crocodile Tears, um, the song with Central C, I'm liking it more and more. That's just hard. First time ever I'm listening to Boss. Wow. You're a piece of shit. Boss is amazing. Go listen to Lit. Send me it. I'm sending it to you. Go check it out. Um, you know, I love Dreamville, though. Um, you know, just an ongoing joke. Yeah, I, he's a good guy. Um, but maybe going to go down in history as Boss's biggest streaming song with Central C's uh, is maybe a hit or TikTok. It has a great hook. I can see it growing. The album is dope. The album is dope. And the man really just didn't... What happened? Boss, <laughs> boss is in the chat? Yo, Marlu knows what I'm laughing about. Go ahead. Bro, if Boss is in the chat, you gotta no. let me know right now. <laughs> no one wants to see nobody die. This is rap beef. The killer is Kendrick Lamar. He, right now... You know, we're gonna, I'm gonna bring up a couple people's reactions. We're gonna talk about people's reactions. Um, Noel, your thoughts? All right, so I'm going to use basketball as an analogy here. J. Cole Wipe thought... that mouth. Wipe that mouth. J. Yep, Cole thought yep. he was Kobe Bryant. J. Cole wasn't Kobe Bryant. <laughs> Kobe Bryant went out there every day and did not give a fuck. That nigga said, I'm going to be number one, and you can all suck my giant dick about it. Kobe Bryant left the league the most hated player in the league. Like, people actually legitimately did not like Kobe Bryant as a human being. They found him, like, horrible because he would tell you how it is, he pushed you, and he demanded excellence and greatness. J. Cole was on the same time. He's saying, oh, I'm the best. I rap better than all you niggas. You niggas stink. You niggas make bad music. 
You don't make projects. You make some bullshit for the streams. You niggas have 30. He literally said you have 30 song albums. I'm pretty sure he was subbing um, Chris Brown. And that shit does <laughs> not stream well. Good point. Now, here's the issue. Vic is right. You cannot talk like that and not expect anyone to speak up against you. Yeah. If you say that, I'm going to say something. So what happened was Kendrick says something. Now, I agree with Vic. I think in this nigga's mind, bro, he was very confused. I don't think he ever knew what it meant to be tested, to actually rap against another human being. Because this nigga saw the diss and saw what it took to diss someone else and actually found discomfort with it. He said, this is against my person, like who I am. And I think J. Cole came to the realization he's not meant to be number one. Because when you're number one, you don't give a fuck what you have to do. And that was Pusha T's entire argument against Drake. And that was 50's argument against Ja Rule. And that's been argument, and that was uh, Pac's argument against Biggie. Yo, I don't give a fuck who you are. I don't give a fuck what time you on. You put my fucking name in your mouth. It's off the table. Yeah. I'm going to say whatever I want. I'm going to talk whatever shit I got to talk. That's why I never consider rap truly sport, rap beef sport. I think the moment you put a man's name in your mouth, you can expect that man to say whatever he wants. And that's what Pusha said to um, Ebro when he went on 95, uh, a hot 95. He's like, bro, once a nigga says my name, bro, <laughs> it's up. We, we, we doing whatever we got to do. We getting down and dirty. Um, now, this is my only thing. I'm going to forever call J. Cole a bitch for this. I don't respect him for this. Now, I don't respect this nigga for this shit, bro. Because you're not going to jump off this situation. You're not going to have all this energy. You're not going to drop the song. And then you're going to fucking fold like a piece of paper. Nigga, you fold this so bad, the women on your label had to defend you. Yo, when women defend you, bro, the way she was... Say, I'm proud of him. I'm so proud. When a woman says she's proud of you, bro, you did some bullshit. You did some shit that's shameful, bro. I'm sorry. And I'm telling you right now, I will give him grace. I give him grace that he recognized that this wasn't his character and he took a step back. That takes a real nigga to do that. No bullshit. It takes a real nigga to sit there and be like, you know what, bro? I, I praise him for that. I praise him for that. To do that in front of the public and know that they're going to laugh at you. Because he said, yo, this isn't my character. I'm not this person. I thought I was this person. I thought this is what I wanted, and it actually wasn't. It never was what I wanted. I don't think J. Cole's career is dead. I think J. Cole's career is fine. I think any aspiration he had of being number one is gone. I think he's just going to make music for his fan base, and he's going to literally have a fall off. This is it. The peak we just witnessed is now going to start to decline. And I respect that, and that is the choice he made for his career, and that is up to him. However... I am making this clear right now. Aubrey, Jimmy in the fucking wheelchair. I'm talking to you, Drake. I know you're getting ready to take on uh, Kendrick. And I'm going to let you know, I'm not giving you the same bail. I gave you that bail with Push. When you said, oh, that's not me. I'm not going to talk about a nigga the way I was ready to do. Fuck that shit. You want to be number one? Step to the fucking mic and talk your fucking shit because I promise you Kendrick's ready for you. I promise you. All the degeneracy you've been on over the years, he has it ready in a fucking clip. We're not talking about numbers. We're talking about character. It's you versus him. Whose character is worse? Skeleton for skeleton. Music for music. Art for art. Fuck the numbers. Let's see who wins. Don't, don't come with me with that. Oh, I don't know, bro. I gave it to you the first time. I'm not giving it to you to the second. You back out again. You're not number one. It's Kendrick. And that's end of discussion. Sorry. And all the fans out there that are trashing Cole, you better have the same energy for Drake if he doesn't step up to the plate. That's all I ask. Someone said you're glazing. What's your underwear? I What's your glazing. underwear? Let's see your underwear. You got Dreamville underwear on? I don't got Dreamville underwear. I think you do. I like, literally called him a bitch. I think you got a festival <laughs> merch pack sent to you directly to your house. I Front guess. doorstep. I guess. I guess. <laughs> no, listen. Uh... Character for character. God bless. Um, I, <laughs> because we're being honest, we don't really know shit about um, Kendrick. We could we assume. Don't. I would love to hear what he has to say. We could assume. I would love to hear it. We could assume. I want to hear it. Give it to me, please. He is probably it, pushes homeless it? people on the street. We don't know. We don't know what he, he does. He could be a bitch. He could be a fake street nigga. We do not know. Drake could have so much info. I want to hear it. We do not know, right? We know what Drake's character is like. We because he's, he's, he's a gossip girl. And he plays Ooh. into a lot of negative stuff. With his penis out. Purposely. Yeah, he wears Chris Ball jerseys to troll Kanye West. 
He's never cleared up the ex uh allegation of him being involved in his murder, stuff like that. It's just like weird. He, he like, fucks the niggas' wives while they're there. Yeah. You can argue strategic. <laughs> Very strategic, technically. It's oh, very fuck, mysteriously yeah, no. strategic. Fucking people's wives is definitely no, strategic. He is the greatest person to have beef with. Oh, like, yeah. He's a god at it. And I think what Cole realized was, I don't have that ability. You're a bitch, bro. It's okay. You're just soft. Yeah. You don't have the ability to be that ruthless. Yeah. Drake does. I think Kendrick does. Yeah. That's why I want them to beef. I want to see how far <laughs> they'll take it. Bless you, man. Thank you, thank you. You think you, If they start beefing, how far do you think this is going? How many songs deep do you think they'll take it? Listen... Listen, Drake. I has, got three songs out of both of them. You said how deep? How deep is this beef gonna last? I give him three songs each. Listen, the way Drake going, he can go. It'll be deep, bro. Because we're talking about two people. No, that Diddy. Are, no, Diddy. They're back to buy. So the streets it's won't a lot get of involved. Beef there. Think about it. The streets Oof, not gonna get involved. Double here. beef. Double burger. These are two niggas supported by the streets, so the street shit don't work. It is literally a personal argument, a personal fight about your art, your craft, and who you are, bro. That shit could last for a while. My thing is this, right? As far as, let's address the rumor, right? So the rumor, for those who don't know, there's a rumor happening online by multiple people in the industry, been saying it multiple times already now, that Drake and J. Cole wanted Kendrick Lamar to be on first-person shooter. But Kendrick Lamar denied the opportunity, turned it down, and we got what we got without Kendrick Lamar. And that's why J. Cole rapped on the, on the album, on the, on the song, first-person shooter. Now let me ask you this, out of both Big of them... Three. Who do you think is the one who wanted that? J. Cole is probably pushing for this to happen. For I sure. agree. 100%. And then Drake was probably like, F that guy if yep. it's not happening. But, but there was a but, rumor. But if Drake were to have let it happen, that's weird as fuck. There's a rumor. We've had people that are fans of us. I'm not going to say who it is because I, I want to keep them anonymous. But there's people in the industry that I've worked with. Um, I mean, we know people on both camps. But on the Kendrick camp, years ago, during the... Um, Kendrick album dropping, he reached out. Yeah, Drake was in the crowd and shit. Whatever. Remember, Drake was in the crowd, supposedly at a Baby Keem concert, and the guy reached out to me. He's a fan of ours. Shout out to him. He was like, hey, there's a reason why he's there, et cetera. Like, I won't tell you more, but just know I can't speak on it more. FYI. So I'm like, oh, so Kendrick and Drake are cool. Oh, so Drake, the rumor of Drake investing into Baby Keem's career, maybe still wanting to deal with him behind the scenes. You know, maybe he signed him with a... Uh, uh, like a split deal with Kendrick, and it's just like a as a ghost behind because Baby Keem really really wanted him to, you know, be with him. Who knows? I thought it was believable though. I'm like, it's probably believable because I know Drake really fucks with Baby Keem's music. And then fast forward, Baby Keem and Kendrick, they drop that song. What does he say? Smoking on top fives, right? Blah blah blah. I think on the same song, or maybe on a different song. When was it that Baby Keem says? Um, Number two, DM and my bitch. It's the same song. Same song at the end. Mm -hmm. Number two, DM and my bitch. Number two, DM and my bitch. Who's number two? If Kendrick's number one, who's number two? It'd have to be Drake. Drake. And Baby Keem would say that because he's probably a Drake fan. Kendrick's not going to call him number two. You think Kendrick would call? Kendrick would probably say number 30. Like, he's not even going to put him in that if he's wanting some disrespectful smoking on top fives, right? Baby Keem, number two. Drake, number two. Who is his bitch at the time, allegedly? His woman, his female, his partner. I'm sorry. She's not a bitch. Um, she was on that group. I forgot the name of that group. But um, Camila Cabello was on the group. Uh, the black girl, phenomenal artist. If you want to shoot, ooh. That's a good, yeah, no, she's, a, she's a good ass artist. Fifth Harmony. She was part of Fifth Harmony, the group. Fifth Harmony. Hold on. They're not even saying anything. Number two, DM and my bitch. What What's that girl's name, bro? R&B artist. What no, I will no, say... Normani. 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 Thank you. Whoever said that? Who said that? MB. Shout out to you. MB. Thank you for saying Elysium. that. Normani, Normal. bro. Nor not, Normani's phenomenal talent. Yeah, nah, she's hot. Phenomenal talent. I fuck with her. Camila Cabello's more successful, more successful, but... They gonna love me for my ambition.